So I finally had a chance to sit down and watch Kubo and the Two Strings, the latest animated movie from Leica Entertainment, starring the voice talents of Art Parkinson, Charlie Theron, and Matthew McConaughey. This is the story of a one-eyed boy named Kubo who lives with his mother near a small seaside village in ancient Japan. And young Kubo spends his days telling stories to the villagers using his magical guitar, which can form these sheets of paper into these intricate origami figures and bring them to life as he tells the stories. But one day, his entire world is turned upside down as his evil relatives come to kidnap him, and his mother manages to fend them off while Kubo escapes. And so, accompanied by a giant talking monkey and a giant talking samurai beetle, he sets out on a quest to find his father's lost armor so he can defeat his evil ants and their father, the Moon King. I'm glad I finally got a chance to see this one because I have been hearing nothing but glowing praise about this film, and justifiably so, holy shit this was good. This may be the best looking stop motion animation movie I have ever seen, which is probably what I should expect from Laika at this point. Everything looks fucking gorgeous. The characters, the environments, the various things Kubo constructs out of the paper using his magical guitar. There's a point in this movie where they fight this huge freaking skeleton monster, which I think I read somewhere is the largest stop motion puppet ever created. And I can believe it. And the sisters, Kubo's aunts, those two are creepy as all hell. Oh God, the combination of the character design and the voice work by Rooney Mara just, oh, they're gonna give me nightmares for a while, let me tell you. I really enjoyed the story for this movie. It's certainly an inventive story to say the least. The journey of a boy and his monkey and beetle companions as they search for his father's mystical armor to defeat the Moon King along with his magical guitar of telekinetic origami powers how do they come up with this stuff? I have no idea. This is the most ridiculously awesome story ever, and I love it. The action sequences are a ton of fun, the comedic moments hit pretty well, and the tragic moments are genuinely very sad, especially the stuff with Kubo's mother. Kubo's father gives his life to protect him and his mother so they can escape, and during the escape, his mother nearly gives her own life. Uh, survives but sustains a nasty head injury that she never really recovers from. And throughout the first act, her mental faculties are constantly in flux. Sometimes she's all there and sometimes she's just gone. And it is heartbreaking. And it's pretty heavy stuff for what is essentially a kid's movie. The voice acting is pretty damn good across the board. You got Art Parkinson as Kubo. You may remember him as Rickon Stark on Game of Thrones. Although... Not anymore, speaking of tragic characters, but he was really good. Charlize Theron and Matthew McConaughey play the monkey and beetle respectively. They were awesome. You got Ray Fiennes as the Moon King. He's as great as he always is. And George Takei has a small part in this movie. And yes, he does get to say his signature line. Oh my. As soon as I heard that line, I think it's the first thing he says in the movie. As soon as I heard that, I'm like, that is either George Takei or someone doing a really good George Takei impression. But yeah, it's the man himself. And again, Rooney Mara as the sisters. Ugh. So creepy. And you would hope a movie that so prominently features a musical instrument as part of the plot would have a great soundtrack, and Dario Marianelli does a fantastic job here. The movie also features a really neat cover of While My Guitar Gently Weeps by Regina Spector, and it's very well done. The only thing I didn't really get, and I'm sure I'm not the only person to bring this up, but fuck it, I'll say it anyway, why is it called Kubo and the Two Strings when his guitar has three? And I'm sure there's a very simple explanation for this, and as soon as I find this explanation, I'll be like, oh, that makes total sense. And I'm gonna be kicking myself for not getting it earlier. In fact, if the explanation is out there, I'm sure at least 50 people will mention it in the comments. But right now, it's a little confusing. But 
That's really the worst thing I could say about this movie. The title is slightly confusing. Other than that, this is damn near perfect. If you have not already seen this movie, you need to. It is amazing. You will not regret it, I promise you. You need to go see this because I think it's only made about $40 million so far, and it deserves 10 times that at least. This is fantastic. It deserves your money. Let them have your money. And that's all I got to say about Kubo and the Two Strings. So until next time, take care.